Yeah, so, um, well, we have this new development, of course, is the PSMA PET uh, imaging, which is very quite revolutionizing the way we detect metastases, local recurrences in, 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 in prostate cancer care currently. Um, but we still have rather old criteria for what we call recurrent uh, prostate cancer, so the Phoenix criteria. And this Phoenix criteria apply to patients having been treated with radiotherapy. Uh, so after a patient has been treated, you, you expect them to be cured, but you follow, of course, PSA. Um, and if PSA will rise to a certain level, then you say they, there is a biochemical recurrent disease. But what we found is with this, so we have this more sensitive imaging techniques now, PSMA PET, and what we found is actually if you scan them earlier than the, well, the, the Phoenix criteria, so those established criteria, so if you scan them at a little bit lower PSA level, you still find recurrences already. So that, that's quite, we think, uh, quite something to look further into, um, because by finding recurrences early, you might also be able to treat them earlier, and potentially offering a, a bit of better selection of, of treatment for those patients. So we have uh, large databases uh, in, uh, in the prostate cancer network around Amsterdam that we have. Um, and I was actually evaluating uh, just generally the, um, the detection accuracy of PSMA PET in, in those patients. But then we came across those patients that were scanned prior to the official criteria. So then we looked into that more and uh, retrospectively analyzed the dose. Yeah, that's very difficult. I mean, we should also be very careful there, of course. We just have a very interesting finding that, indeed, if you scan them earlier than, uh, than the criteria, you might find uh, metastases already, which is interestingly enough, but we were not quite able to find a new uh, diagnostic paradigm. Um, we just, just really want to call, call to arms to, to re-evaluate those criteria in with larger series. I think that's the main message. Well, it was very we were a bit uh, surprised to find those things actually, because we generally consider them free of a recurrence yet, but then we find suddenly recurrences. So that's a very interesting fact in itself. I mean, I think we have to be very careful and very really evaluate in, in prospective ways uh, what we do with it afterwards. But it was a very surprising finding. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have, as you this PSMA pad is a very new technique. You have two, basically two Big, big forms of PSMA PET. You have the gallium labeled PSMA PET and the fluoride labeled. This is a bit of a technical difference which radioisotope you use. But this fluorine uh, PSMA PET, that's what we do, and that offers a little bit higher image resolution. So we just checked in a very large series, about 250 patients, what is actually the detection accuracy that we reach. And that was really, really well, rather well, even at very low PSA levels. So that was quite promising in that way. So we have, we have a lab actually around the whole PSMA PET now, so we do a lot of prospective trials. Uh, also in primary staging, we do also with the detection of the primary tumor, that I think is very interesting, uh, interesting new fields so that we'll come. We're currently working on that, and we, we expect to publish on that uh, soon, hopefully. Mm -hmm.